Marriage on the Edge, Day 1, The Edge. Often when I officiate a wedding ceremony, I use today's verses. They are great verses for starting a marriage. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God very clearly created man and woman, each in his image. When compared to the rest of creation, we are different. We have a soul, a spirit. This spiritual nature allows us to commune with God. It allows us to think and feel. It allows us to love and to love deeply. It gives us a glimpse into God's design for us in our relationship. Genesis 2 gives the picture of the first marriage. Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. When I teach a marriage preparation course, I show this first and then ask, what do the words naked and unashamed mean to you as you enter marriage? I get words like safe, vulnerable, trust, and secure. That is a picture of what God wants for us in our marriages. It is what we all want our marriages to be like. It is His plan for marriage. At one point, those were your hopes and dreams for marriage. Maybe your marriage never got there, or maybe you were there and somehow it slipped away. Now you think things may not work out, and you are faced with a verse that has taken on new meaning for you. Let no one split apart what God has joined together. If your marriage is not where you want it to be, you're not alone. You're not the only couple seeking answers. The past months have taken a toll on many marriages. Some of you are barely holding on. Some are separated and deciding which direction to go. Some see red flags all over their marriage and know it is time to address them. You may have toxic fighting cycles and broken trust. The friendship you once had may now be lost, and your connection with each other non-existent. Your main feelings for each other may often be hatred. Some of you have really tried to resolve conflict only to end up screaming at each other. You may have a million unresolved issues. The idea of serving and respecting each other seems like a foreign language that neither of you speak. What you desired in a marriage and what you have today are as different as night and day. If there's hope. Jeremiah boldly proclaims this truth, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. I've seen God literally work miracles in marriages that were on life support. He can do the same for you and lead you into a healthy, thriving marriage. This plan does not have all the answers, but it is a great place to start. Over the next six days, we will talk about six topics that can help you take your marriage from the edge to solid ground. At Awesome Marriage, we are here for you and invite you to let us know any way that we can be of help. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Day 2. Communication on the Edge If I ask you to rate the communication in your marriage today on a 1 to 10 scale, with 10 being great, where would you rate it? Maybe at one time in your marriage you would have given your communication high marks, but today... My guess is your rating is low, probably very low. Healthy communication makes a difference.